These are Santa's best helpers. No way! <sighs> Holy moly. Merry Christmas. In 2021, Steve and Susan Andrews were surprised with $15,000. Every year, they volunteer by dressing as Santa and Mrs. Claus in their community. It's just fun. It's a gift. We have, this is our gift to each other. But that year, they couldn't. I have health issues this year, so. Oh, okay. I bet, I bet you're gonna miss it. I miss it. Santa's helpers got a welcome surprise from a secret Santa himself. For the seventh year, Nate Eaton and the EastIdahoNews.com team handed out checks on behalf of a secret Santa throughout the state, all thanks to a generous and anonymous donor in the community. In 2021, he donated a million dollars. This is the biggest year we've ever done. I was shocked, I'll be honest with you. So we're starting earlier, we're doing bigger surprises, we're doing bigger gifts. Merry Christmas. Thanks. So how did they decide who was rewarded? We've already asked for nominations for stories of people truly in need. And when we received just some heartbreaking stories. Oh my goodness. Oh. The anonymous Secret Santa watched many of the surprises from home. After years of being the face of this Secret Santa, one might think that when Nate and his camera crew showed up, the family inside would know what was up. The holiday spirit was taken from him and we showed up with $15,000 and it just blew him away and he had no clue who we were. And those are the types that I love when they don't know who we are. Because if they know who we are, they know that they're probably gonna get a big gift. But if they have no clue who we are, it's, it's even better. No, no. Santa needs help around the holidays and every year an Iowa couple lends their letter writing hands. The first year we got about 130 uh, letters. Then from there, the second year we got over 400. And then last year we had about 180. Bryce and Austin have a mailbox in front of their yard where kids can drop off letters to Santa. They told KCCI in November of 2022 that the notes addressed to the North Pole have come from around the country. Rhode Island. Vermont. Um, yeah, Vermont. And a lot of them were local. So it's really cool to see that people here are spreading it to even other states. Each letter to Santa that finds its way to Bryce and Austin's front yard is answered. Just for the fact of the joy it brings. In 2015, for a holiday ad by Fresh Pet, rescue dogs and cats played the part of Santa's elves. They kept list wrapped gifts, and built toys with the help of human hands. The video featured 15 rescue dogs, three cats, and costumes specially made to fit around both the animals and their human counterparts. You're gonna get behind your dog like this, and you're gonna be the dog's arms. This costume was built to fit around the dog's neck and then with a big space in the back for a human to fit in with them. This is Sullivan, and he is our big papa elf. This is Mocha, and she's the drunk elf. The holiday feast videos were a hit, and each time they were shared, Fresh Pet donated a meal to shelter animals. Cute videos for a great cause. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.